Bit one. Emma. Not too bad. Maybe you can reduce the fire. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfectly fine. It's okay if it has a, I actually like when it has a little bit of texture. It's not burned, but like this, this texture. Okay. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> so today we're going to make a Swedish specialty with uh, mashed potatoes, meatballs, and uh, lingonberry. And we're also gonna add some uh, green peas to that. So, uh, yeah, let's start. I'm making the potatoes. Or, yeah. Trying to do this. How we will eat it without the Swedish sauce. We don't have the lingua. The lingonberry well, is great. Well, that's not as cool as. Uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead and get them. We are adding more, that's enough. We could uh, do a few more if you want. This should be the, enough for the both of us. It's more than enough. Mm. And if I... So you mash it finely? Or? Mm. Yes, now we're mashing it, and then we're gonna put in some uh, butter and try and whisker it together, and then some uh, milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put just added some uh, salt and uh, pepper mix into it, with a little, little taste in it, and just whisker it around a little bit more. Butter. You want me to want the milk? Mm. Or you can just take out the milk and pour it in. So after we put the butter in and whisper it around, we'll pour in some uh, warm milk. Let's see. It's gonna get fluffy. 
but it's not gonna get too fluffy because then it gets like yeah, it doesn't get gets too soft. But I think that might have been enough. You can put as many as much as you want, depending on what texture you like. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. It's very easy to put too much. I think this is actually the perfect texture now. And I believe it's done. Bon appetit. Mm-hmm. 